The Astros trying to deny Chris Bolstad his first win as a Cub. Top of the first, Houston threatening with a man on second and two outs. And Scott Moore laces one towards the gap in left center field. Jose Altuve comes in to score on the RBI double, and the Astros jump on top one to nothing. Lucas Harrell getting the start for Houston. He's looking good in the second inning. He'll strike out Alfonso Soriano to open the frame and Wellington Castillo to end it. Harrell making his first career start at Wrigley. Top of the third, Houston threatens for more runs with two on and one out for Brett Wallace. Wallace hits it high to center field. Backing up Jackson. Jackson all the way back and what a bomb to straightaway center. A three run blast by Brett Wallace. That's number five of the season for him. And that majestic shot gives the Astros a 4-0 lead. Top six, it's now 5-0 Astros. Two men on for Fernando Martinez facing Lendy Castillo. Hit high to center field. Jackson way back. And this one is out of here. Second three-run homer of the night for an Astro. And this one comes from Martinez. His first as an Astro. And it is 8-0 as the Astros unload. First home run for Martinez since May 13th of 2011 when he was a member of the Mets. Top seven, it's 9-0 Astros, and Scott Moore will cap off the offensive outburst. A solo home run off of Michael Bowden makes it 10-0 Houston. Bottom seven, Harrell has given up a run at this point, but he would give up no more. He'll strike out Bowden to end the frame, and in the eighth, he'll get Anthony Rizzo to ground out to the right side to end that inning. Harrell, eight innings, six hits, just one earned run and seven strikeouts. The Astros beat the Cubbies by a final of 10-1. to So Lucas Harrell picks up his 10th win of the season as the Astros score their most runs since June the 10th when they were in Chicago playing the White Sox. And Chris Volstad falls to 0-9 as a Cub. He hasn't won a game since July of 2011 when he was a member of the Marlins.